Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everybody, right now I'm here in Erie, PA, and I'm joined with Kara Wolf, Richard Wolf, and my uh, fiance. She's hiding in the car because she's camera shy, but that's okay. Um, we're here at this abandoned Eaton Park on West 12th Street. It's right by the place I stay when I stay up here in Erie, when I go to Presque Isle, Waldemere, you know, uh, Splash Lagoon and all that. I want to give a shout out to my friend Griffin at GRM Adventures. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the uh, description of the video here. He gave me a heads up about this place because, to my knowledge, this was open. The last time I was here, this was open, and I was here in October. So this just closed recently, I would imagine. So without further ado, let's do this. I've never filmed in Eaton Park, a Pittsburgh-based restaurant, so this is a shocker for me. So let's go check it out. As you can see... She's a goner. Now, on the sign it says, we're closed. Please visit us on Peach Street. Peach Street over by uh, the Mill Creek Malls where they have their other location. Because up here in Erie, they don't have a lot. Oh, wow. It really closed recently. It closed like a few days ago. Oh, like the 27th. It closed January 27th. Really? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Now, this is what's nice. They offered their team members positions at the other places that they own, so. Wow. 29 great years. We're closing our doors at January 27th. Wow. That's a shame. Oh, my God. I think it's... Well, it's possible. Can't really see. That's locked. Glare, yeah, it's a little hard to see inside. But you can see that right there with all the smiley faces on it. That's where they would have smiley cookies. Um, it was a staple with uh, Eaton Park. They would give like these, like shortbread cookies with icing on it with a smiley face on it to kids, you know, for free after their meals. Or you could buy like a half dozen, a dozen, or you could buy a single one yourself, you know. Food's really good here. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Eaton Park, you know, being that I'm from Pittsburgh. You know, they have all kinds of everything here. You know, little Italian plates. They have burgers, pasta. Their breakfast is amazing. And a couple locations still do the midnight breakfast buffet on Friday and Saturday nights, which are like... And the, uh, the um, light bulb? Um, light fixture. Oh, I guess it came out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on here. Yep, you can see right inside the restaurant. Wow, they pulled all the kitchen equipment out into the... Right into the... Uh, Lobby and everything. That's a shame. This closed. I like coming here. Wow, this is, this wow you know what though? This right here, that is really gross. <laughs> that is really gross. Yeah. Well, every restaurant has that though, but the salad bar was right there in front. Um, I know it's hard to see it, but like right beyond like the second row of like seats there, like you got the one right here in front, then you got that like wooden divider there and then there's a set of seats there and on the other side is where the salad bar was. Bud Hot Water System. Hmm. Do not double stack. Fragile equipment. Um, hmm. That's what the Bud Fun. Hot Water <laughs> That's where the Eaton Park sign would have been facing West 12th Street over here. As you can see. And then the big sign here. That sign right in the middle would say we're open 24 hours. And the Eaton Park logo up there. This was a 24-hour Eaton Park, as most of them were. There were a few that closed. You know, there's one of McKee's Rocks that closes. That's a hot uh, food warmer. Uh, okay. Those, uh... Sorry, it's hard to see in there, guys. Those, uh, I think the bottom one poofs the bread. Oh, the top the one actually yeah. bakes it. Mm -hmm. down there. Mixer. I'll take the mixer. Yeah. Love this. I love this place. It's sad it's gone. 
come up to Erie, I'd just eat here sometimes because it's so close to the cottage, you know. Not bad. I mean, there are other restaurants up here in Erie that they got that we don't have in Pittsburgh that I like, like El Canelo right up the road, which their Mexican food is really, really good. They cleaned up, stacked up all the chairs. It looks like they vacuumed the floor a little bit, stacked up tables. This place is still nice and pristine. They just closed oh, it. man, they got that painting of Prescott Lighthouse there up on the wall. It's the third painting on the left in the photo that yeah. you see here. That That's the Presque Isle Lighthouse at Presque Isle State Park, which if you guys seen my videos from back in the day, I filmed that a couple summers ago. And then over here, besides another bay window looking inside the restaurant part, is the drive-through, which wasn't always here. The drive through over here wasn't always here. They just added this, I think, a few years ago, as a matter of fact. And I think that this uses to ding. Yep. Ding. We're ahead and pick it up. That's cool. I know it's hard to read that, but Thanks for coming. Keep on that's a cool sticker. It is. I want that. I got the uh, smiley face uh, clings. Those are cool. West 12th Street. So you can see the power's still on inside, too. I like the crash test dummy they have on there for the accidental. It's his name is Accidental Al. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that reminds me of that that uh, incident thing we found at that abandoned IGA the, in Cole yeah, Township. Eddie, yes. Yeah, where the dude's like standing on the end of the chair, going, "Oh, dog shit, falling off of it," you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. There, look at that, Accidental Al. What does he say over there? Hold on, let it focus. Accidental Wow says, safety makes us smile. Blank days without a recordable accident. Oh my gosh. Our previous record was 179 days. Wow. That's awesome. So yeah, it's cold here. They got cameras up on this place too, so... <laughs> I don't know if they still use them or not. Probably not, because they abandoned this place. But, as Nate taught me, go check out the garbage areas. I don't see anything in here, though, already. I just see a couple pallets of milk crate trash, trash juice, which is frozen, somebody's bumper. <laughs> there is nothing in here at all. Whew, my fingers are hurt and the gate swings open. I don't know. I'm not touching that thing. I don't know what that was. Yeah, you got the bread racks. Oh. <laughs> oh man, my fingers hurt. They're so cold. <laughs> There's another look inside. This would be the waiting area, and this is where the restrooms were, too. The restrooms were in this little hallway right here. And there's the uh, the front counter there where they would have their signature pies, you know, and cookies and other desserts and stuff, too. If you ever ate at Perkins, their style of food is about the same. Is what Eaton Park has. But Eaton Park is just different, too, in itself, which is really cool. I like this one, too. This one has a unique entrance to it. Not a lot of them have an entrance like this, where it's like, it looks like it's sit up, up up top there and eat up there, you know? But it's completely useless up there. So, but it's still cool. Sad it's gone. Parking lot is in great shape. Looks like you could still use it. Um wouldn't need any repairs any repairs you know in the near future so 
but that's it. All right, so we're back in the car. We're going to wrap this video up. My fingers are hurting because they're so cold. Um, I do got gloves. I guess, you know, it'd be kind of smart to wear them. But anyway, we're going to wrap this uh, video up. You know, again, I'm joined with Richard, Kara, Kayla. We're all hanging out here. And uh, shout out again to Griffin for telling me about this place. I mean, it literally just recently closed. So anyway, make sure you go over to all of their channels. The links to all their channels will be in the video description. So with that said, I'll talk to you guys later. So take care. Stay awesome. Bye. Well, for decades, community members have made grabbing breakfast at Eaton Park a part of their regular routine. But one of those locations will be closing its doors for good this weekend. Guests who pull up to the Eden Park on West 12th Street will be greeted by a sign reading, Closing on January 27th. Thank you for 29 great years. We have quite a few regulars that come in one, two, three, four times a week. And uh, this is where they gather. This is where they talk about their lives. And this is just part of their routine that's going to disrupt. It's a huge disruption for the entire community. Whether it's the freshly baked sweets or the friendly atmosphere, for some, this location grew to be a community favorite over the years. I actually haven't been here in a while. I used to come here every week and just thought I'd come back, say goodbye to the place. The waitresses are very friendly and the service is good and the f food is good. I got exactly what I chose and it was so good. Fortunately, many employees won't be out of work. Eaton Park tries to place at least 85% of its team members at other locations. In this case, many will either end up working at the Peach Street property or working in the restaurant's account at Mercyhurst University. I'm, I'm glad that they considered that. Because uh -huh. I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing some of those same waitresses again with good service. And as crews get ready to serve their final meal, they're leaving one message with their loyal customers. I just want to say, hey, thanks for the great 29 years we've had. Uh, without our community, we wouldn't be here today. And uh, you've made it possible for all my team members to have a great life. Once the Eden Park is officially closed, a Chick-fil-A is expected to take its place. Back to you in the studio. But Jill. important to point out, you can still get smiley cookies. You just have to go on Peach Street to the location that's staying open. Yes, definitely. Okay. Just a different spot. Jackie Roberts, thank you.